Hey everyone, my name is David Caldwell. I'm a principal real estate broker with Hillshire Realty Group at eXp Realty. Today we're gonna to be reviewing a video with Lawrence Yun that I just saw on CNBC where he's talking about the housing market and what's happening today in the national real estate market. And we're gonna compare that to what we're seeing today in the Portland housing market. Pre-pandemic, there was a huge shortfall of housing. Where do we stand now? Uh, well, you are absolutely right. There was a housing shortage pre-COVID. And then in the first couple of years of COVID, uh, the, the real estate boom because of the low interest rate and the shortage intensified. So we've seen that in Portland as well. Before the pandemic, basically we were in what would be considered a seller's market for about eight years, dating back to the end of the Great Recession. Now, demand fluctuates, but through that entire period, we saw home prices increase and we had months of inventory that would be considered a seller's market. But in 2022, because of rising mortgage rates, steadily home sales declined, declined, declined. Furthermore, apartment building went gangbuster, 40 year high activity. So we still have a residual shortage of housing. So before 5 million, now 4 million in my estimation. All right, Lawrence, get ready. This is something we're definitely gonna clip for social media right here. So our price is falling right now. We know rates are rising and supposedly when the rates rise, the prices are supposed to fall. Are we seeing the prices fall? And is there any chance we're gonna get back to those rates that we saw in early 2021 and before maybe 3%, 4%, any chance? National median price in the latest up 1% in January compared to one year ago. So it is still up, but that's the national average. If we look at the Portland housing market in the last 12 months, ending in January, which is our most recent data, you saw the average sales price increase 5.9% and the median sales price increased by 7.5%. Now, a lot of people are looking around the market and they're seeing price adjustments, price declines. Well, what you actually have to look at is that in a part of every normal real estate market, there are price reductions on listings because people came out of the market too hot, the, the price was too high. Um, we're also seeing multiple offer situations. Those just don't get talked about as much today as they did in the past couple of years. So if one looks at individual markets, for example, San Francisco, Seattle, prices are falling, but at the same time in other areas, say Atlanta, uh, in other fast job creating areas, prices are still rising. So I would say half of the country is seeing modest price gains, other half of the country, modest price decline with few exceptions like San Francisco where prices are down roughly 10%. If we look at the Portland housing market again from a historic standpoint, we can have data back to 1992 and we've seen the average rate of appreciation over that time period of about 5.8% for 31 years. Every single year, if we average that, it'd be 5.8%. We've also only seen four years of housing price declines in that 31 year period. I think you just dashed a lot of hopes. A lot of people are hoping to hear you say the rates are gonna fall dramatically and the prices are falling too at the same time. I know that rarely happens. All right, so right now we're entering what used to be at least pre-pandemic, the spring buying season. Are we gonna see a similar pattern this year? And is it a buyer's market or a seller's market? Uh, it's gonna be driven by the direction of the mortgage rates. Uh, the past week, some bad inflation numbers or the inflation remaining stubbornly high is keeping the mortgage rate a little elevated. But once inflation comes down, mortgage rates should be much more attractive for the remainder of the year. Uh, I think there will be some steady growth in home sales. Buyers, they understand the long-term wealth grain potential from home ownership. Uh, and we still have that housing shortage we alluded to earlier. What he's basically saying is that rates are gonna drive demand. And we've seen that, you know, as rates increase in the later part of 2022, we actually saw a 42% decrease in the Portland metro area for pending sales between Q4 of 2022 and Q1 of 2021. So we had a humongous decline, but we still have this housing shortage as he's alluding to. Uh, January, we had the lowest number of new listings in the Portland metro area dating back to 1992. It was also the first or the fourth worst month for pending home sales dating back to 1992. Now that just has a lot to do with saleable inventory coming to the market. Now, even with that being said, less pending sales, there's less homes coming to the market, which 
is basically meeting our lower demand because interest rates are high. That's why we still have an almost 6% rate of appreciation over the last 12 months. So this housing shortage will not go away immediately. And consequently, is it a buyer's market, seller's market? Well, it's time for negotiation. I think people who are good at negotiation will get that right price they desire. I think I'm pretty ready to haggle myself. All right, we were just showing a board with some of these economic reports related to housing coming up. Is there one in particular that you think is especially important and that'll give us the biggest insight into the housing market and the changes? Uh, you know, mortgage rate is the always big driver. But second number uh, is just job creation. America is still creating job, uh, meaning that the potential, the pent up housing demand is still building up. It's all about the mortgage rate to make homes a little more affordable. So once the mortgage rate drips down a bit, one can again see the reopening of the gates for the home buyers to re-enter. I think one thing to keep in mind what he's talking about is since we do have less pending sales today, that demand moves somewhere and it either had moved forward or it's moving backwards. Since we're not seeing as many sales today, there's a likelihood there's a lot of sales that are just moving to Q3 or Q4 of this year or maybe into 2024. And if you look at early predictions of 2024, we're going to have a pretty robust housing market. Um, predictions are very difficult, though, as Lawrence Young is uh, alluding to interest rates are going to play a huge factor in what happens in the housing market. Now, it's not going to be a frenzy condition. 20% price gains, no, it's not going to happen. But say steady 3%, 4%, 5% annual gains, those are very plausible expectation in the upcoming years. We'll throw a graphic up on the screen, but if you look at the last 30 years of the Portland housing market, we've seen an annual rate of appreciation, an average rate of 5.8%. So as he's just alluding to, they're not really expecting major national price declines. In Portland, I'm not quite expecting that either because we do have a housing shortage. When you look over the long term in the Portland housing market, it really just makes sense. If you have any questions about buying a home or selling a home in the metro area, you want a thorough analysis, you want to get in depth about the numbers and what we're seeing, contact us at hello at hillshirerealtorgroup.com. And if you wanna see more videos like this, more analysis of the Portland housing market, mortgage rates, luxury home tours, subscribe to this channel, like us, and we'll see you next time.